hey guys and welcome back to the channel i'm about to get ready i have a baby shower to go to but yeah i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna listen to my kinsley lakamard final and yeah Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna do my mascara, um, but I'm about to mobile order Starbucks and go get gas and then head to the shower because it's like just under like an hour away. So yeah. This is the finished look. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pretend like it hasn't been a long time since I last filmed, but it's fine because we're back now. I am currently on my lunch break, but after work, I'm planning on going to TJ Maxx because I really want another blanket. Like, I don't know, I was just like, I don't have that many blankets and I would really like one of the like super fuzzy ones and I know that it's July and it's currently 82 degrees right now but I would really like a soft <laughs> blanket for my bed and also Starbucks is doing this thing where you get like a certain discount on Tuesdays on refreshers or something I keep seeing it on TikTok and I haven't been so I'm definitely going to Starbucks um and I think the last clip I filmed was a Starbucks clip, but we're just gonna ignore that and we're gonna go again later, okay? Okay. <laughs> also, I've been reading so much lately and I'm gonna do like a little book recommendation, like another book recommendation of everything that I've been loving and I cannot, cannot, wait to share that with y'all because i've been on a reading kick let me tell you so so excited for that so it is 5 42 i'm at starbucks i just placed my okay so, so here's the thing about the summer refresher deal thing whatever okay so you order on the app a refresher and then you get half off on Tuesdays, okay? And so I did a uh, Trenta, Trenta, however you say it. And then I'm gonna drink half today and then save the other half for like tomorrow or something, okay? And so basically, and I got no ice in it, so it's basically two drinks in one and it was half off. So I just did that on my app, but it's only on the app. You can't go through like in stores and do it. The deal is on the app. So anyways, while I wait for them to finish my drink, the little, I hope they don't back into me. Okay. Anyways, um, while I wait for them to make my drink, I went to Entity Max and then I got, this green humongous blanket right i also got two pillows that look like this and i know those aren't the same type of green but i have like a mustard colored pillow at my house and i think the colors of this and then the warm-ish tones of this will match the pillow and the pillow would bring it all together and I just ordered green sheets from Target and it got delivered today so when I get home I will also show those so we're going for a green theme here
just got back home from a little like shopping spree with my best friend okay so we hit target ulta tj maxx anywhere else maybe one other store i can't remember hit it i didn't get anything in there but anyways this is what i got <laughs> okay so when i tell you i went into ulta for one thing and came out with five things yeah anyways so I went in for the Ariana Grande God is a Woman perfume. Uh, this is my second bottle. It smells so good. Like, I can't even explain it. Like, sugar is the best way to describe it. But it's not like it. There's like, she's like laying in a bed of flowers. Hold on, where is it? Right here. She's like laying in the flowers, you know, but it's not really like floral. It's very like sugary sweet. Um... Anyways, that's my second bottle. And then I got the middle size bottle, not the biggest one and not the smallest one, but the middle size one. Yeah, cause I'm out of the one I had before. My friend was saying how she loves like Clinique stuff cause she has like super sensitive skin and she love, like love this clarifying lotion. I don't really, it's a, ex what? Exfoliant. I don't know what this is supposed to do. <laughs> Anyway, she said, wash your face, put this on. So I'm gonna do it. Cause she has like the clear skin I've ever seen in my entire life. And back to Ariana Grande things. I got this Rim Beauty lipstick and it's in the shade Cabernet. Cabernet? Cabernet? I don't know, I'll put it on the screen. The packaging, when I saw it in the store, it reminded me of like an astronaut. Like, you know how astronauts have a little like circle glass um window thing that's what this looks like so and maybe this whole thing is supposed to be like outer space theme i have no idea anyways this is the lipstick color <laughs> am i a beauty guru girl yeah anyways this is the lipstick color i love a wine colored lipstick dark red purple whatever color it does a little it's like a magnet nifty i got these little nail sticker things because so fun fact i'm currently teaching myself guitar right and i love like long nails but i can't play guitar and have long nails but i want my nails to be done as well and like sometimes painting them is boring to me and i like these are just like nail stickers but they have like different designs like this one is like um it reminds me of like watercolor you know and there's like four different type of designs and stuff and then this one has like florals in it and yeah i've used these before but it's been since like last summer i wanted to get some more because ulta has like so many uh like a wide variety of them and i've never seen those so got those i got little nose strips in tj maxx because i've been needing some target I got a little stack of these um, turquoise plates. And I got, so I love like stationery. I love pens and notebooks and sticky notes and literally anything adjacent to that, okay? These little cards, right? And they're blank on the inside um, because I always have like occasions where I have to write a card for someone and I never have any. And so I got these and the envelopes for this one are yellow and these are just um the little watercolor design and also i got these sticker packs because i love a sticker like i said so i got these sunflower ones and then these smiley face ones and then these little rainbow ones and so yeah <laughs> i think that's my haul for right now oh wait hold on hold on this doesn't count in my haul but when i got home just now it was waiting outside for me so if you've been watching this channel for a while you know i love fallout boy they're like my top band besides like paramore probably and so it's like the 15th anniversary of infinity on high their album okay so i got their freaking anniversary vinyl in the mail today it's literally like i was <laughs> while i was like setting up the camera and stuff i was like playing their vinyl anyways i'll show y'all um just like a quick little peek of what the vinyl looks like so anyways it's this 
blue marble glitter translucent vinyl it's freaking beautiful and it sounds amazing in the record player and i just wanted to throw that in here and share that because i'm so excited to listen to the second um lp of this i'm just so excited so literally after i finish this i'm gonna listen to i'm gonna listen i'm gonna finish listening to the album so at the beginning of the video i mentioned how i was like really on like a reading kick okay so i have my current faves um that i've read for the past like two months i would say but let me just say that i've been my greek mythology era okay keep that in mind while i'm sharing all of my books i'm gonna go <laughs> i'm gonna go in order of the order that i read the books in because it like has helped me stay on track with the theme that i've been reading in okay so the first book is the lightning thief and i read this literally like 10 years ago when i was in middle school right and i think it was so good the movie is really good the movie is different from the books though but it's still super good um long story short percy jackson is a demigod he has encountered all these monsters goes to camp half-blood where he kind of trains and um he yes so he trains right and so the whole thing is is that um zeus's lightning bolt is missing and so he's trying to go on this quest to figure out what happened to it and who stole it and so that's the first book right and so i read the first book um i will say that it's it's a very like quick read it's very good if you're trying to get into m greek mythology and if you don't know anything also um it's did i say it was like very straightforward i don't know but it is like geared towards like middle school kids younger so keep that in mind so it's not like an adult book it's like very much kid but it's so good obviously like i've read all of them so okay so next my best friend was raving about this book song of achilles right i've been seeing it all over tiktok and this is also a greek mythology book but it focuses on like the trojan war and pretty much the story of achilles and everything he endured throughout his life so this i could not put it down i think i read it literally in 24 hours i could not put this down it was beautiful well written also like so straightforward and so easy to read so and i say that about these books because i've read like the, Il the iliad in college and then the odyssey in high school and those were not easy reads like the way it was written it's really old timey and so it just took a lot of deciphering or like thinking about what the author was saying but these are like super straightforward easy to follow so yeah so then i <laughs> read the second third and fourth percy jackson books which is um what is this one the sea of monsters this was my favorite so far like i said i read the odyssey and this has like very big i think it's raining anyways this has like very big odyssey vibes like yes this one is percy jackson in the titan's curse fourth one is percy jackson in the battle of the labyrinth this one was throwing my head for a loop this i mean they're all super good but this one oh my gosh that's all i gotta say <laughs> I have no word. Okay, so I'm working on reading this one. This is the last one. This is Percy Jackson in The Last Olympian. Um, I'm probably gonna finish this this weekend. And then in the fourth Percy Jackson book, um, he encounters um, a goddess named Circe, which reminds me of the person who wrote Song of Achilles. She also has a book called Circe. And I was like, wait, I've seen that before. I've seen that name. I don't know anything about her. Um, actually this was in the this might have been in the third book actually actually i don't remember i don't remember it's in either the second third or fourth book okay so anyways Cersei, i haven't been, i haven't read this yet but i am planning to read this next so this is like what i've been reading this summer 
very much Greek mythology vibes. Um, I've been enjoying it. I think it's so interesting and it makes me feel like I'm 14 and 15 again because that's when I read Lightning Thief for the first time and that's when I read uh, The Odyssey. So, yeah. The spark of my hey guys, I'm just coming on to end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.